are very excited about this very promising Smarty Jones Philly. Yeah, we are indeed. I wrote about it a couple weeks ago on Let's Go Racing Parks.com. The last time we saw Aoife's Magic was on PA Derby Day, and Dave Totolo, the trainer, said, thinking about a stakes race at Penn National the day before Thanksgiving. Then he rethought it when this race came up, said, you know what, I don't have to ship. So it was an allowance. The conditions kind of fit her kind of perfectly. And uh, she's back in, and she's the favorite here in an allowance. Last Wednesday was race eight. Yeah, we're going to take a look at it. It's the eighth race. This is for two-year-old fillies going six furlongs. Allowance optional claiming 75000 Only one is in for the $75,000 tag, $50,000 purse. We're talking about Aoife's Magic. She's the post-time favorite. Yeah, and she look on paper undefeated, one by ten, one by four, one with a little bit of adversity on PA Derby Day when got behind horses in that muddy, uh, sloppy track. Track. The numbers aren't there yet, uh, Danny, but sometimes you got to look beyond the numbers when you watch her run. She's just got that smooth action. And all I know is the owner of Smarty Jones, Pat Chapman, says when I look at her, I think I'm looking at Smarty Jones. Oh, that's really cool. And let's take a look at the second choice, Beachfront Breeze, the New Jersey bread for our friends, the Maddie family. Yeah, indeed, Jeff Maddie, his dad, his brother. It's, it's all cool that uh, Beachfront Breeze, the Jersey bread, is in this heat. Here's the call of the eighth race from Wednesday. Off and racing, Aoife's magic broke like a rocket. She fires out of the gate, Sarani in second. In on the rail, there's Beachfront Breeze. On the outside, first joke, then moving up, Sharp Eyes, Valentin. And at the back, Kiss for Luck. After that alert beginning, Aoife's magic taking off the pace. She's now second. Beachfront Breeze has the lead in on the rail, Sharp Eyes on the outside. First joke, then in fifth, Sarani back to Valentin, racing a little bit greenly, then Kiss for Luck. As they make their way down the backstretch, the opening quarter, 22 and four beachfront breeze the undefeated Aoife's magic looms to her outside first joke in third then back to sharp eyes Sarani then kiss for luck getting in gear from the back nothing from Valentin as they make their way around the turn Aoife's magic confronts beachfront breeze the undefeated Philly sticks her nose in front and beachfront breeze comes right back at her as they make their way around the turn with a quarter mile left to go we're going to see what the undefeated Philly is made of Aoife's magic hits the top of the stretch in command beachfront breeze coming back at her sharp eyes trying to make up some round Sarani running a little bit greenly. Aoife's magic is in control and kicking clear. Aoife's magic is pulling away. Beachfront breeze in second, a late run from Sarani with a 16th left to go. Aoife's magic, perfect, three for three, a star on the rise. Aoife's magic gets the win. Um, she was challenged a little bit, but she proved she was much the best and uh, just really exciting to watch. Yeah, no question. I, I thought she was the winner the whole way. She had that great position. It's great to have positional speed and an outside post. And I think the, the Philly she beat is a pretty good Philly, and, and she won pretty convincingly, nine to five price. Now, don't be deceived by the final time. It's 114 for six furlongs. The track has been yielding very slow times. We're going to show you a really good three-year-old group coming up. They're going to run exactly one second faster, and they're exactly one year older. And, uh, yeah, we got a chance afterwards to talk to the Connections, uh, trainer Dave Totolo and owner Art Heatherton. Dave, it's three for three now each time she does it. What do you think? She just impresses me. I mean, she just, be, because she'll break as fast as she does, and she'll just settle back. She'll sit between horses. And then when he asked her to go, she just goes. I mean, it's it's really nice to train her because she's she, she's push button. She does everything I ask her to do. I mean, she's getting. That's why I didn't really want to ship from a, a, to another track to run her because she's starting to buck a little bit now. When she comes back from the track, she'll she'll be cooling out and she'll be bucking and kicking it. I didn't want to put her in the truck. I just figured we'd run her here at home and and now uh, we're going to try for the misbehavior in uh, December 27th here. So. I mean, I think she'll go two turns. We'll find out. She, she's done everything else we've asked her to do. So. Now, when you're by Smarty Jones around here, you're automatically royalty. How cool is that that she's <laughs> the daughter of Smarty Jones? Well, I, I mean, I was a little timid when we bought her only because a lot of people say that they're a little crazy. But she's not. Art, when you spent 16000 for this filly, what did you think you were getting? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just really pleased with what we got. Right. And, and how exciting is it not to win one, but now two, and then three in a row with any horse? Uh, three in a row. We, I've never won three in a row before, <laughs> so it's great. Trainer Dave DiTolo has to be so proud. Now, he gives jockey Wilfred Vasquez a lot of credit for getting along with him, but we have to give him credit for knowing his filly and knowing where and when to run her. Yeah, no question. Look, they paid 16000 at the sales at Timonium. She's obviously made a lot more than that. And Danny, as Dave said, we're going we're gonna to see her next, hopefully on December 27th, two turns, 200,000, PA bred, PA sired right here at Parks. And, of course, if she wins, then uh, we'll look forward to seeing what happens in 2024.